Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be filming a very, very overdue what I eat in a day. All of my old what I eat in a days were around the time when I was competing. So they were either focused on like high protein or fat loss. And I haven't eaten that way pretty much all this year. So today you are going to see a normal day of eating. Um, I obviously try to eat a whole foods plant-based diet, but let's be honest, it doesn't always work out like that and odds and sods sneak in and I'm totally okay with that. I think it's fine and healthy to indulge now and again. Um, my only major consideration with my diet is to not, well, is to try and avoid foods that don't increase inflammation in the body. As some of you might already know, I suffer from arthritis. So I haven't planned what I'm going to be eating today, um, but my fridge and cupboards are full. So this should be good. Uh, let's get on with the video. I have been really focusing on hydration lately, guys. Um, I did try lemon water, but I did not like it. It actually made me feel sick, but lime water I can totally get with. Um, it tastes really nice and it's really easy to drink. So I will drink a whole liter of that before I eat or drink anything else. I also have this coconut kefir, which is amazing. Um, it's full of like healthy bacteria to help promote gut health. Um, they are really pricey, so I don't buy them often, but if I'm feeling rich, I'll get myself a bottle. So yeah, looking at these two, I think I'm gonna be feeling pretty full once uh, I have all this liquid in my tummy. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I decided to put the coconut kefir back in the fridge because after one litre of lime water, I was feeling pretty hydrated. I don't know why I thought that it would be a good idea to combine the two and have 1.5 litres worth of liquid in my tummy. Um, anyway, I will be drinking it later because it's really tasty. I definitely recommend you trying them. There's loads of different flavours as well. So I'm going to be making myself some breakfast right now. I've been eating and really enjoying these steel cut oats lately. Um, they are a bit of a pain because they do take quite a lot longer to cook than regular oats, but you can cook them in advance. And either way, once they are done, the wait is totally worth it. So yeah, I'm gonna cook them. I just cook it with um, some water and then I add all of the fantastic bits um, afterwards. So whilst my porridge has been cooking, I have gathered all of this stuff together. I've got some fresh blueberries and I've got some hazelnut milk. And guys, if you don't know about hazelnut milk, you really do need to get to know. It is amazing like it tastes so good and although it's quite pricey if you only use a little bit like in porridge or something it will totally last you quite a long time um, so I've got some raw cacao nibs which are really nice some almond butter and I've got this like flax mix with sunflower pumpkin sesame goji you can see and in here I've got like some coconut chia so basically in there is just some chia seeds with a can of like coconut milk, um, a little bit of vanilla and a dash of maple syrup. And I'm just gonna stir that into my porridge for some extra yummy and goodness. So here is my finished breakfast and I am going to have a black coffee with it as well. I have limited myself to one coffee per day. So yeah, just going to eat it now. Also the coconut chia pudding, I keep that in the fridge for any of you that wanted to know that fact. Um, and it's really, really good. It is lunchtime now guys and I am going to be making myself a big voluminous salad. Um, I find that salads are the best way for me to get my greens in. So I'm going to be making myself a salad 
dad a salad for tomorrow for his lunch and I'm also going to be making dad's friend a salad because he has been getting a bit jealous about dad's amazing packed lunches and has requested a salad for tomorrow so I'm happy to oblige. Um, over here I have some amazing oven baked potatoes and then over here I have all of the other essentials I'm going to be putting in my salad. Sorry about the plastic, I am trying to do my best but this is just how it comes. Arrgh! And those are the two pots for dad and dad's friend. Here are the finished salads for dad and his friend. Um, there's plenty in there and I've added some potatoes on top for some extra filling yumminess. Here is my lunch guys. It looks absolutely epic. I love volume though. So I like to just put my dressing on top and just eat it like that. And on the side I've got my potatoes with a very small helping of sriracha. I am just about to tuck into this absolutely delicious looking lunch and I'm also finally going to be having my mango and passion fruit coconut kefir. It's actually really dark. It's now 4.30 and it's been dark all day. It's been like really overcast and really dreary, drizzly rain. Not the best day. But um, yeah, I'm still, still on the coconut cafe. After my lunch, I was absolutely stuffed. I had so many potatoes that like, I felt like I couldn't move. Um, but this is yummy, so I'm just finishing it off now. And then I need to start on dinner. I'm thinking of making a coconut curry and showing you guys, because so many of you have asked how I make that. I've shown it before, but I haven't like told you how I make it. So I'm thinking of a coconut curry with like pumpkin and um, beans and rice and broccoli. So yeah, I will, but first I need to clean up my kitchen because it is a bomb, let me show you. Dust kitchen. I just wanted to quickly show you two teas that I'm really enjoying at the moment. This one is clean matcha green, really good for like in the morning or an energy boost like halfway through the day. And then this one is hibiscus. It's so high in antioxidants and it has so many other amazing health benefits. I would definitely check it out. It also tastes amazing. I usually have one cup of this in the evening every day. So yeah, check these out. For the pumpkin and butter bean coconut curry, you will need some red onions. Um, I, this isn't necessary, but I've got it in my fridge, so I use it. It's red miso paste, it just gives a really nice flavor. Some tomato puree, a pumpkin. Um, I really like this type, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's green, it's really nice. Um, some passata, just like, a, this is a rustica one, so it's not completely smooth. Um, I've got three tins of butter beans in water. Yeah, three tins. One can of coconut milk. Um, some curry powder. Some cumin. Some cinnamon, some celery seeds, and some black pepper. Um, yeah, that is everything you need. So basically, I just chop and fry the onions in either water or some coconut oil, depending on how 
oily you're feeling um, I cooked the pumpkin with the skin on I de-seed it but the skin softens down beautifully and it's full of nutrients that you don't want to lose I then just add everything else into the pan and cook it up and season it until I like what it tastes like I do often add spinach but I'm completely out because I think it gives it a really nice texture I just chop it up a bit and add that in but I'm going to be cooking up some broccoli with this meal so yeah let's get cooking So here is my finished dinner. It actually hasn't been a particularly hungry day for me today. Um, I have days when I'm like really ravenous and I eat tons, but today I haven't felt ravenous and I've been on kind of like an even keel. Um, so I will probably eat this. This will probably be my last meal, but I will have um, my cup of hibiscus tea this evening. So I'm going to eat this. Looks yummy. Is that nice girls? Yes. Yeah. I ate it all already. You ate it all already, Iris. Yeah. Well done. What would you like, Ollie? Water? Jean, could you get us some water, yes. please? Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to eat my food and I will see you all a bit later on when all of the madness of the house has calmed down and I can sit down and enjoy my tea. Hi guys, I just ate all my dinner. Did you like it? Yeah. Was it yummy? Yeah. Did it's you eat your broccoli? Mm, I don't want it. Uh, no, you need to go eat that broccoli. I just noticed you've given it to Ollie. Go on, go and eat mm. your broccoli. It's only one piece. Go on, go eat it. It is now 10 o'clock, guys, and the house is finally quiet. Uh, Dad has just made me my tea, so I am just going to sit here and drink this. I really hope you enjoyed watching um, what I ate today. Let me know if you still like these kind of videos and if you would like to see more of them. Uh, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.